you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a match. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles, just absurd. And a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early going. And there's that kicking game from Yair Rodriguez on full display early on in this one tonight. Yeah, Yair Rodriguez is a beast. And you know when you watch him, when you're going into the octagon with him, you've got to always be on high alert because he can hit you from anywhere. And a lot of times, it comes from those kicks, those very diverse, scary, dangerous, challenging to understand kicks that he throws. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Rodriguez. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Inside leg kick is there by Rodriguez. Ooh. Nice hook there by Yair Rodriguez. Beautiful jab there by the champ. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Leg kick lands. Oh, nice hook by Rodriguez. There's another one. Just over three minutes to go on our first round. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Oh, making this clinch work count, lands the punch there. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. There's the kick, it's blocked. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee of the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Good work from the top here by Rodriguez. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just gotta move. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Nice combination there. Under two minutes to go. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Rodriguez going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his yeah, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, nice land there by Yair Rodriguez, DC. There are so many different layers and dynamic strikes in the arsenal of Yair Rodriguez. The opposition just never knows what's coming. 
All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. That's a pretty filthy combination there by Lee. Takedown attempt late in the round, and he gets it. Nice pass. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Beautiful fly and he lands to the head. Strong straight left there. First round winding down here. We've reached the end of round one. All right, sit down, bud. That was awesome. Great round. Another round in the books there. Everything you're throwing is landing. I want you to stay heavy with those kicks. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. So Rodriguez continuing to manage distance beautifully tonight. He's got his kicking game on point. He's so long. So Yair uses those kicks to not only brutalize you, but to maintain space. He's a well-rounded mixed martial artist. He's really improved in the wrestling, but ultimately, the kicking game will always be what defines Yair. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh! Oh, man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Rodriguez. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. That's good defense to block that punch. Right now they separate. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Unable to land the head kick there. He's got a lot of kicks in his arsenal, man. Head kicks, low kicks, spinning attacks to the body. Two minutes now to go round two. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. 
Take shot. Now, take shot. Oh! This could be it. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick. Yep. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Going for the head kick. No dice. All right, he engages in the single power tie. So how about this? We fought different round. Maybe things would change. This kickboxer is chasing takedowns all night. I mean, when you're having success in the hands that he's having, you didn't imagine he would switch the game up. But I think at this point, now it's just him showing off. He's like, I can do everything inside the outcome. Another takedown lands for this man. He is a very impressive athlete. All right, well, he made no bones about his game plan. He was going to attack the body, and he does so effectively yet again there. Well, how about the discipline? How about the discipline to stay the course, to not rush, to not go head? Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Some real power shots here. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Number two. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging then when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. You ready? You ready? Do All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Nice combination work to the body. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Throwing that jab, no good. Shots being landed on both sides. Superman punch now. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Nice kick. He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictating the fate. He's got to try to finish here. Oh, big left. Oh, nice level change. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt. He's been battered. He's been beat. And now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Mm, nice. Oh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Posturing up now. 
And now the damage is about to start. Let's go. Push, push, push. Get free. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Good punch, Lance. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier. Flying through the air and he lands the knee. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Looks like someone took a red Sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Rodriguez going for the takedown, but unable to land. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, with authority, the body. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Push kick there to the body. Rodriguez, his nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps they're on the oh, bridge. God. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough Ready that your chin is. Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five, five minutes. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test a fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. All right. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Back and forth we go. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes, and at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter, but tonight he has worked the body to great effect, and those are really starting to take their toll. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Good job by Rodriguez to get that guard up. Oh, nice kick. He does everything so well. 
And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice jab by Rodriguez. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, nice knee. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Rodriguez has got a nasty bruise, Daniel. You see it appearing there on the left side. You gotta think all of that body investment by his opponent is gonna pay large dividends as this fight continues. Effective jab there by Lee. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see... Oh! Rodriguez gets back up. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Oh, back and forth we go. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Pretty good straight punch there by Rodriguez. He gets to the single call time. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Lands a nice leg kick. Hands higher, hands higher. Rodriguez going for the takedown here. Nothing doing that. Great punch. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can see him and fight two more rounds if he needs to. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to happen. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. 30 seconds in the round. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. A lot of time pressure being applied here. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, but not after serious damage was done. Great round there from Lee. Straight down the middle. I need more of that. I want to see it. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Yair Rodriguez. Checks the leg kick. Nice block and the follow-up counter with the jab. Nice. Stay on that jab. Rodriguez gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Beautiful combination by the champion there. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. 
Nice straight right lands. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, good work with the jab there. Oh, nice jab up top by Lee. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Effective punch there by Lee. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Rodriguez. And able to land a nice shot there on the inside. There's the single. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Lee. Good solid strike on the ground. These ground strikes are starting to add up. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. In the half guard. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Rodriguez. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Rodriguez gets back up. Oh, this kick. If you're gonna go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. And that spinning kick found its home up top. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of it. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Huge shots there! Lee gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Strike lands cleanly there. Oh, double jab there by Rodriguez. What a fight! Oh my goodness! Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. All right, so a seven of blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Big head kick! 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Lee. Oh, that's big. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title.
The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly